You know what, they can all be the biggest losers in the world if they make music like this. <laughs> Superstars, HBK Luke here. Hope you sexy boys and girls are doing great, baby. Let's go. Woo! And continue our Beatles journey. We are now on to Beatles for Sale, which was released in December 1964. Interestingly, it wasn't widespread released in the United States until 1987. Instead, the Beatles issued Beatles 65, which includes eight of the tracks from this album. The two songs we are checking out today, No Reply and I'm a Loser, both with Mr. John Lennon on lead vocals. Track one, No Reply. So let's see what the newest Beatles sound on this fourth album. This happened once before, when I came to your door, no reply. They said it wasn't you, but I saw you peep through your window. That's a lie Cause I know where you've been I saw you walk in Your door I nearly died I nearly died Cause you walked hand in hand With another man In my place If I were you That's a lie Cause I know where you've been I saw you walk in Your door I nearly died I nearly died Cause you walked hand in hand With another man In my place What an incredible opening to this album. I absolutely love this song. There's so much going on with it. It's so different from anything I've heard from the Beatles so far. Wow. Uh, let's start with the vocals because they're just brilliant. John Lennon and uh, the, the thing that I love most is the change that we get here. We go from this very soft, lighter sounding, almost sweet vocal and it shifts, doesn't it? Certainly when the harmony comes in as well and these two... John and Paul, when they harmonize, it is just absolute magic. And here it's full of aggression, passion, emotion. And it's Paul doing the higher part here. I think John was supposed to do it, but his voice was still worn out from a hard day's night. And looking at the release date, still we're in December 1964 here. The, 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 the switch over, the production and the time between albums is so small that it's not surprising. These have no rest really at all. For his voice, really. Um, and it just, again, it emphasizes that effect, doesn't it? We get the shift in tone of the vocal, the loudness, and also the harmony coming in again, emphasizing the point even further. Musically, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, again, the shift in key, the shift in the tone, in the tempo, the way the hand claps just come in midway through the song for another bit of extra emphasis. And the drums are really interesting as well. Because we get this overdub of piano and electric guitar at the same point. And the drums are almost the transition, aren't they, to go into... I mean, it's almost like two separate songs, really. Because there's not a defined real standout chorus, is there? We've just got this kind of almost like it's two songs put together. Um, and we always get one of those Beatles false finishes. It's not quite as pronounced with like a silence and then fade out and coming back in. 
but it's almost this stop and then again you get this like extra couple of bars to finish the song again adding to that feeling the frustration of this no reply it's almost like he's knocking one more time which i think is brilliant as well and uh this brazilian kind of bossa nova rhythm that we've got going on which actually gives it a very very danceable wanting to kind of do some moves vibe isn't it and then it does change when we go to the next section of the song so so much going on and that's what's brilliant about the beatles isn't it the songwriting that takes you in so many different places adds things in that you just don't expect and certainly that song does that here um i think it's actually you know it talks about the kind of change to a more mature beatles towards the end of a hard day's night we're certainly into adult relationship territory i think but here it's uh it's not really um it's not a very positive message from the song it's about finding out about a cheating partner and you're not able to contact her you know she's home but she's not responding so i guess it's almost we're moving to these adult implications we've moved away from the young love perhaps the sweet romantic side to you know i guess the implications of relationship in adulthood where there are greater consequences and perhaps greater pain as a result and also looking i think you know despite being an adult it doesn't stop immaturity being relevant does it within people there is this you know you're supposed to be at a mature more adult stage in your life and yet things like this a cheating partner for instance a very immature thing happen and the pain of that is actually maybe worse than it is you know the first young love heartbreak because maybe you don't fully understand it at that point but when you're a bit older you do so uh very hard hitting and very brilliant opening to this album let's move to track number two i'm a loser i mean it's not giving very bit of foreboding here in terms of the song title uh mr lennon again takes the lead vocals and i believe this one inspired they've met bob dylan and they're inspired by his work so they're going to give it a shot so let's see what this one's like showtime i'm a loser i'm a loser and i'm not what i appear to be of all the love i have won or have lost there is one love i should never have crossed she was a girl in a million my friend i should have known she would win in the end i'm a loser and i love someone who's near to me i'm a loser and i'm not what i appear to be Although I laugh and I act like a clown Beneath this mask I am wearing a frown The twang My tears are falling like rain from the sky Is it for her or myself that I cry? I'm a loser And I lost someone who's mean to me I'm a loser And I'm not what I What have I done to deserve such a fate? Oh, that guitar is just brilliant. It's got a slight bluesy quality, but at the same time, it's almost got that country twang. I think it's that finger picking style, but it's just, it lingers the emotion, doesn't it? This feeling that he's generating within the song. My goodness. Again, very different. So it's true, pride comes before a fall. I'm telling you so that you won't lose all. I'm a loser, and I lost someone who's near to me. I'm a loser, Tambourine. and I'm not what I appear to be. Ooh, 
you know what? They can all be the biggest losers in the world if they make music like this because it is absolutely sensational. I love this. It's so different from the first song. It's so different from anything I've heard from the Beatles so far. We almost get this bluesy country twang in that guitar, don't we? That finger-picking style is just delicious. The harmonica solo it is so underrated. It is so underused in modern music. I think the Beatles, actually, this is one of the last times that the harmonica would be used within their song, certainly for an instrumental. Um, it adds so much to a song, I think. There's something really raw. And I don't know if it is because it's a mouth instrument, you know, it's the... If, if you could, well, I know you can, you, the singing, the vocal is an instrument within itself, really, isn't it? But it's the, the nearest equivalent. It's, you don't need words because we are expressing it through the harmonica. It adds so much emotion, which I think is uh, something lacking, certainly in modern music. The percussion on this song is absolutely sensational. Mr. Ringo Starr, the hi-hat is just phenomenal. There's a real delicate nature to it, isn't there? There's a softness that he brings at times within this song. I think we have the tambourine. It's almost like this shuffle as well that it moves into. It fits in again with that slight country element of the song with that folky, I guess, inspiration from Bob Dylan as well. And the guitar, the way that it goes, it's just this very, again, you just can't help but want to get in the groove with the Beatles. The vocals, John Lennon just excels himself, doesn't he? I think it's the it's the amount of emotion he gets into his voice and it becomes more and more apparent the more you hear him sing that, you know, and even the last song, it feels like he's in pain. He's got this feeling. Here it's less so, but there's just something so brilliant about his voice. And again, we get that slight change, don't we? There's a slight increase in volume in kind of the level of passion, you know, he's almost, he's accepting things within the verses, but in the chorus, he doesn't take it anymore. And again, we're looking at a very, very dark kind of, a darker. And again, we're looking in a darker place lyrically, aren't we here? It's describing himself as a loser. Um, you know, there's a feeling that you get after losing someone that maybe you love, but You've been made to feel like you're not worthy of having them. The reality is that is not the case at all, is it? And often it is, uh, you should never feel like a loser. You know, something ending is simply the opportunity, the beginning of something else, of the next stage within your life. But at the time, you know, you do feel that hurt. And I guess, again, we're moving towards that adult feeling, perhaps, where the hurt is more, the feeling is more, there's more, perhaps, of a qu deeper questioning of yourself and of what you're doing and where you're going in life, um, which is that, that loser feeling on the inside. But I'm here to tell you that certainly there are no losers here. Um, and I think, you know, when we are, you move towards and certainly the initial periods after this that hurt, that feeling can be a very, a place of sorrow and kind of uh, easy to kind of get carried away with it. But the reality is that if someone, if, you, if the end of a relationship really is one step closer to, you know, finding your Yoko Ono, to finding your Linda McCartney, it's, um, it's a step away from the thing that it could be the greatest thing, the greatest relationship of your life. And, you know, I think the, the lessons to learn are that the people that are letting you go are people that aren't meant to be in your life anyway. So don't feel like a loser because you just got one step closer to that golden ticket. And uh, most certainly the Beatles dropping this album, they're going a step closer with these two songs to another brilliant album and another step into music immortality, aren't they? Absolutely a brilliant two great songs that are straight into my playlist. I cannot wait for this journey to continue and see what the Beatles will cook up for us next. To let me know in the comments what you guys think, Please like and subscribe. I'm HBK Luke. It's so